So this is a game made in Wolf RPG, which is similar to RPG Maker. Uh, I want to say it was like 2012 or something. It might actually be earlier than that. It was developed by a Japanese developer named Yuri Games and translated by VG Person. And let's jump in. Things finally look tidy in here. That should be that. Anything more you want help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. So this is us. We are David Hoover. We've just moved into this new apartment. Huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. What's with that place, seriously? It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him. You hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. And not many places come with furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. The license can wait, I guess. <laughs> Better get to bed. It's pretty awkward. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. There's a large crack in the wall. I guess the TV's there so that you can sit here and watch it. Yeah. Alright, I guess we'll just go to bed. Man, I'm tired in all sorts of ways. Really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. <laughs> 205 looks to be empty and knocking gets no response. 203 also empty. 202 is empty. 
Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just, I can hear you from my room even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 204, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Yikes! The water! Is the faucet busted? Hmm? Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Hmm? Found something. Found a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. That sound still. Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need sleep. This guy can't catch a break. Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean... Just, I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay. Bye. Man, I slept in till noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Paul? What is it? Yeah, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh yeah, this. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but... Wow, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh yeah, Paul, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of prankster do you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. I need to go in here. No, I can't stand you. I know you're there. This is ridiculous. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my, if it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much, I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off and I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop too, so when you get better we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son David, remember? Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh? Who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? 
Who are you? Say something, will you? M ma Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get him! Get rid of him! Now! Mrs. Hoover! Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Away! Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M Mom. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy. Please. Mom, it's me. Remember? Mom? David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. Well then. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I didn't know anything about this game when I grabbed it. I just, um... It was just sort of an obscure game, and a VG person historically has pretty good taste. That's the translator who translated uh, Eve and a couple other pretty famous uh, indie horror games from Japan. What's that noise? It's not bedtime yet. Okay, I can't go to sleep yet, but I definitely heard a noise. Did I move that chair? There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to become a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Hello? Hey, David, how are you doing? Ha, <laughs> you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? I can come visit with Paul. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told you, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her she doesn't tell her I don't need her worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright, well I'll hang up now. Alright, see ya. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Furnished apartments are so weird to me. Apparently they're uh I got a spook. Why did it turn on all by itself? Is it broken?
What the hell? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Huh? There's a scrap of paper under here. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant? So much strange stuff. I should just sleep and forget about it. Moving for a change of pace, huh? I guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Is that a kid I hear? This late at night? And what kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're lost. I should go check. Of course there's no kids here. I must be getting tired. Huh? Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. W wait, what? The coffee's spelling out. <laughs> you gotta be... This room is really, really strange, with its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Uh, hi, Paul? It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> yeah, I was up all night last night. I gotta ask you something, is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? No, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, it seems he forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. He didn't clean up the scary ghost message. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see. About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments have always got people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really, just up and left out of the blue. I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. No, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alrighty, sorry I wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder what he was like. Oh well, I'll go back to my room. <laughs> yeah, he's not he's not particularly pressed about what he seems to clearly understand is a haunting. Okay. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. <laughs> the guy's voice, the kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. <laughs> it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention that kind of thing. What's going on here? 
David is just a complete donut. Not that I'd much care if there were ghosts here. Nobody would be too bothered if they haunted and killed me either. <laughs> Jesus. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. There's something very funny to me about him not cleaning up the ghost, the ghost stuff. What? What? Where's that coming from? Is it inside the house? There's something in the room. Sounds like a computer. Oh, it's coming from in here. Radio? What's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning them on by itself. What's going on with that radio? Hmm? There's something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? I love David just not caring at all about being haunted. I'm... I'm waiting for you. What... Why did... How? And when did it... Wah! Okay, he finally broke. So, you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds' love nest. Hey, why you? Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. <laughs> I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you've got your mother to look after, but it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital, and the girl I want to marry ran away from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. But don't actually. Breakfast's ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'd better get going. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> there. Looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five-hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. <laughs> I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. If David was just a little bit more depressed, uh, he could have just no-sold that entire haunting. Just laying there as the lights flash and the windows 
and doors open and shut. It's like, whatever, it's all bullshit anyway. All right, so we've completed the prologue. Jeez, it's gotten dark. But this is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? I guess I'll just have to check. Gotta look around for secrets. Hotel register. The clock is stopped. Oh wow, we got like a full-on kind of Silent Hill area. Something on the shelf? Treasure hunt. Dear mom, dad, me. Treasure hunt? I guess some kid drew this. Sure, I'll look for your treasure. Okay, so there are nine squares, and a crown is marked on the top right. I also want to point out that this kid is um, prematurely balding. <laughs> Pretty rough. So there are six rooms per hallway. That means treasures up here. There's a scrap from a notebook on the dresser. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help me to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page, it matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. So he got dumped, huh? The note at home did mention that. Our special place. He came here with her. Where could he be? Shelves are empty. The clock is stopped. No. Oh. The dresser mirror is cracked. The door is locked. There's a notice on the door. Due to employee incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporary. <laughs> That's some good passive aggressive, uh, uh, Passive aggression for management, I guess. <laughs> Due to employee incompetence. Are we going to have to play Moonlight Sonata? Okay, so this is a uh, huh? something under the table. Found a gold key. There's a piece of paper beside it. You found the treasure. Congrats. All right. 
these tables were in the uh, the pattern from the treasure hunt map. just this one. Okay, what does this key open? Is it a hint toward what we would use it on? Doesn't look like it. The library, where was that? Yeah. You were right, Farsi, it was the library. The key to 108. Pack tight with books from E to F. C to D. Okay. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold-hearted, you may still be warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your unconscious kindness, and they will drag you away. Some kind of occult book? I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into that stuff for his age. What the? That sound. Is someone there? I guess 108 will be over on the right. Hmm. Thought so. Now I can get what's on the dresser. We got wire cutters. So there was a door locked with wire. Uh, somebody's playing the piano. there. Uh, I'm sorry. I just came in and the piano looked nice, so I, uh, sorry I yelled at you. I'm not on staff for the hotel or anything. Who are you then? I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm Sissy. Huh. Sissy then. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know. I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies. But I'm not leaving until I find it. Yeah, it's just my priceless ruby box. Right, well, sorry again for shouting. I'll probably be here a while longer, so I could help you find it. Really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor, though. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. 
I'll be going then. Um, David, you be careful too. Man, what am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like the shady one here. David is the female respecter. He, uh... <laughs> okay, which of those doors was covered up with wire? Was that down here? Ten eight. Door in room one oh six bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on this page. Hi, Tyler. Four chapters of the book have mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report it to the owner. I will say this. This game has been pretty good about... Oh, I hear something. Is somebody locked in there? I should find a way to open it. Okay, well, we can go to 106. Uh, but this game has been pretty good about pacing. Oftentimes these games can become rather aimless feeling, but it's been pretty consistent with how, how frequently stuff happens. A doorknob. Oh yeah, that journal mentioned something about door repairs. Hmm. Would it work on that door without a knob? Yeah, it's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. Novels, tourist and phone maps, books about hotel administration. Book of the Month, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This tile seems a little loose. It opened. Was there a mechanism in the floor? There's a ladder and it goes down. Where else? Maybe I should check this out. Can't see a thing. I need a light. A drum smells like gasoline. Lamp oil. We're in the uh, the bunkers from Termina. Are you okay? Hey, were you locked in here? What? Are you okay? Whoa! Ah! That's a Luigi scream. Stay back! Don't come near me! Ah! Crap! Let go! Let go! Oh, we gotta press Z to shake him off. <laughs> what was that? Its neck was all crooked. Can't have been a human. Am I just going nuts here? That thing, it couldn't have been real. I must just be seeing things. I'm just so tired is all. Ugh. I feel sick. I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came for? You're just gonna... You're just gonna write that off. I'd rather not. The dude has been haunted for like a week straight, and then he finally sees a monster and he's like, ah, it must not be real.
Hmm. I don't think we found a key or anything down there, did we? I guess we're just looking for a sissy. What was that? A sissy? What? Sissy, what happened? I went to the window and the floor gave way. Well, what should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's too dangerous there. Uh, no, I can't. I'm slipping. And I can't possibly jump that far. A gap this big? This is no time for pessimism. It's gonna crumble soon. Hurry, I'll catch you. That was too close. Are you okay, sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? So scared. I was so scared. No more. I don't like the dark. What? Why do I... It's okay, sissy. I'm sorry. I know you were scared, but it's fine now. Don't cry. Sissy, there's a zombie in the basement that I'm just not going to tell you about. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was scared and confused. It's alright, I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? No, not yet. It wasn't in the room we all stayed in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you came by yourself. You could always just give up on it, it's not entirely safe here. I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've just been wondering. Was it a present, or...? <clears throat> it's a present from my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me after my own life. <laughs> David getting shot down immediately. <laughs> ah, I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it, too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anybody yet, but can you tell me more about them? Uh, well, I don't know that much either. Just that he's a man about my age. Huh. You know that little about the person you're looking for? You're a strange guy, David. I am not. There's just some things I want to ask, and I don't know how he looks because, uh... Strange, but very kind. <laughs> I would have been hurt pretty badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful to you for saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see ya. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Uh, I'm gonna take five real quick. I gotta get some tea. I'll be right back. We can all stare at this slightly offset because the pixel stretching is a bit weird on these old RPG Maker games. This is actually Wolf RPG, but... All right. So I don't think we quite have a goal at the moment, do we? Oh yeah, I guess that's a good idea. Check the room under where the ceiling broke. I guess we can probably jump down the hall. Nope, nothing we can do with the hole unless, uh, no.
Basement doors open. Oh, David, why would you go down here? Bronze key. to figure out what this goes to. Okay, we got the bar. Journal seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and sloppily written. Oh. Let me... Door to the food storage at the far end of the first floor, right? A passcode on food is pretty absurd. A toast to our owner who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff for the basement door, having a number lock on the food storage, all his silly crap made this place impossible to run. Plus, the passcode was the th it was thing with a book which he changed every month. What the hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as hell not us. Ah, uh, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. I have definitely worked for people like that. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta solve my Resident Evil puzzle to get into the pantry. Um, was that really all that was in there? So he says there's a book that we need. Yeah, this was the same owner that wrote, uh, due to employee incompetence. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is probably the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So that's going to be in the library. Top left, thank you. I would also be too dumb to work here, I think. Can't even find the library. Okay. The blackboard in the owner's room said the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It'd be on this shelf, right? Ah, here we go. Chapter 1, Story of the Door. Chapter 2, Search 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10. Huh? 
No way! That monster, did it really? It's coming this way! Crap, I gotta escape. Maybe if I drop down- maybe if I drop him down here. What is that monster? So what I saw earlier really was? To think that thing actually exists. But still, there's no way it's coming back up from that fall, and the room under here is locked tight. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew it would be dangerous for her. I wonder if we can... I can't light the candles. Yeah, just if I happen to see the unaccompanied young woman, I'll... Staff only, it's locked with a passcode. Okay, so we have a four-digit code of some kind. So we have one, two, four, five, eight, ten. Three, six, seven, nine is what's missing from the book, says far C. Thank you. <laughs> so the owner is like destroying books from the hotel library. He's destroying a new book every month. All right, we're in. An empty trash can, a cupboard. You see something, but it's out of reach. The racks hold tableware, wine casks, a small fruit knife, rotten food in the refrigerators. I could use this to get up to that thing. Got the key to room 209. I guess that's what it's like working in an office these days, when you have the uh, ridiculous password requirements on everything. Unlock the door. Looks like something was badly burnt. Is this a photo? There's something under the pieces. Took a scrap from a notebook. I don't need her memory anymore because I know she won't come back. I have to erase everything, good and bad. All the memories inside of me, too. Ah, my head hurts. It's easing up. Sheesh, I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. So he burnt this photo to mend his broken heart, huh? I knew I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Ever. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. Sissy! Oh, there you are, David. Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There are lots of rooms I can't get into, so it could be one of those. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing, but Sissy, you really should leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger too, so I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark scary places either, but there's no need to tease me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? 
Sorry, but I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> don't worry. I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but... A monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark? You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. I'd like to think you're right. All right, if you insist, but be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. Oh, horror game characters. That was the sound of Sissy getting eaten by the by the crooked man. Red Riding? Was this here before? Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to me. I am waiting for you. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? We're going to start finding the crooked man's like trauma core art. Why? I dropped you down a pit! Crap, I gotta do something. Can I just leave? Yeah. Ugh. Well, that happened. Uh, that's actually quite a setback. Um... I guess I gotta save a little more often. I don't actually remember what part of the game we were at. Ah! Zip through all this again. David reminds me a little bit of uh, Henry from Silent Hill 4. Or the whole game, he's just like, huh, that's crazy. And I think we go back to the basement. I haven't played Kingdom Come Deliverance. I've just seen a couple of memes. Yeah, Henry in Silent Hill 4 is one of the he's one of the all-time greats. He just doesn't seem to care about the game that he's in at all. It's very funny. Alright, I got the bar key, I can get the book, then I can go find the Very funny, Samuel. Yeah, the, the algorithm is a mysterious creature. Uh, we want the library now, right? Or no, we need to read the blackboard.
put his blackboard. Libraries over to the left. So three, seven. Three, six, seven, nine. So I'm guessing there are just different stage hazards we can we can get him with. But that's the only one we know of right now. my numbers. key and the key goes up here we've got streamer brain rot so oh right 109 I'm a genius. Now, if we get caught again, it's no big deal. us exactly the same way.
The only thing I can think to do is run back to the... Uh, the room with the hole in the floor. Unless we can, like, hit him with a beer bottle, maybe? Yeah, at the time, I think Ao Oni was, like, the... It was, like, the way to, to do one of these games. And I think that was even just, like, a ripoff of Sweet Home, wasn't it? I don't want to say a ripoff, but the... Alright, I don't think those beer bottles are it. Okay, it's not possible to get out that way. Well, let's look around real fast. Is there anything else we could get him with? Damn, this monster doesn't give up. How about some of this? <laughs> I guess that won't do much alone. What else can I do? Maybe that'll slow him down. Nope. It'll be pretty funny if the answer is just to beat him with every bottle we, we have in the bar. Okay, so that one's in the corner. I'm kind of hoping it is just repeatedly smashing every glass bottle in here over his head. Nope, I don't think so. Can we hit him with the book? gonna look up the solution to this so we're not here all day. Oh, okay. Like, I, I don't think I would have thought of that.
now that he's covered in alcohol, he should be pretty flammable. So beer, those were specifically listed as beer bottles. Beer is not flammable. Even like hard liquor is not really all that flammable. <laughs> What the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? I just need something to defend myself. Even just a knife could really help. Wasn't there one of those around? There sure was. A fruit knife. Maybe I should take it, just for self-defense. Flood? This wasn't here earlier. Did something happen to Sissy? Yeah, I do kind of like David just no-selling the monster and, uh, like, beating it up and killing it. Sissy, what are you doing here? Whoa, your arm's bleeding. So it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm got caught on something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you get anemia? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I can at least try to wrap it up. I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt? It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that I'm wandering around this dark place, all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, and... All to find some measly box. Measly? But it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend? Well, he's my ex, to be exact. We are back in business. We are so back. Huh? He left me quite a while ago, but we were dating, so this hotel was our special place. This is when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all those memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when, he, when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. Damn, this guy kind of sucks. <laughs> I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thank you for your help, David. Oh, and here, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Received a key to somewhere. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. Why are you always like this, David? Like, like what? You're always such a yes man, just going with the flow. Do you even have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You treat anyone the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that it? Maybe it's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but I think we would both be worse off staying together any longer. 
Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait, we can talk this out. Surely! Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. <laughs> the moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Well, Dave, I think what we need to do now, the next step in the walkthrough, it says to get drunk in the bar and then call Sissy. <laughs> or call Shirley. All right. So where does this key go? Something's in the fountain. A box? Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. What if it's a different box? Like, she's like, oh no, that's not mine. It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this to Sissy pronto. Huh? Did Sissy leave already? But she's wounded. Sissy? She's going to be dead by the time we find her. There he is. Sissy? Ah! No! Stay away! Stop right there! Back off, monster! David! Sissy, get out of the hotel! David, what are you- I said run away! I'll take care of this! Hey, monster, I don't know what the hell you are, but don't you lay a finger on Sissy. Do I use the knife? Oh, Z button. Okay. Oh, I see. There's like a whole little combat system, that's cute. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it'll chase us anymore. But never mind me, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm not hurt. But... Sissy, what's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did that horrible monster attack me? I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him, at least. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I... can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Somebody help. Sissy. Alright, uh... Which, uh... I think this is a better... I think this would be the more helpful thing to say. What's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David? 
You know, I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You, too? I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I couldn't be happy when my friend got married, and it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think... Maybe it's not maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of someone. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David. This is your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand, and I know I'll always support you. Man, he's friend zoning her. That's incredible. Thank you, David. I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. <laughs> hey, David. Did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open, so, though I didn't lock it. A key. Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key? <laughs> nah, of course not. Ah, oh, yes, that's the one. Where did you find it? Wait, really? I, uh, picked it up. Around here. A key from my house opened Sissy's box, so the former tenant involved with the box? What does that mean? I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches with the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here? Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah, he wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out, after all. I'll be all right. Thanks, though, David. Well... I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. Well, that surprised me. <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this an address? Maybe that's where he is now. <laughs> I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I find him, I'll go anywhere. It's so funny to me that David just wrecked the monster. And it was like a tiny fruit knife, too. It wasn't even... It wasn't like he got like a big cleaver. Man, this place was far. That took almost an entire day. So this is the place. Looks like the school was abandoned. No one around. Though I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let me see if I can even enter. Julius Stone Law School, set for demolition. No entry. Hey, this is the school from that leaflet. So maybe he is here after all. The men's bathroom, the women's bathroom, the janitor's room. Yeah, I love that David just, like, became Indiana Jones, like, halfway through. He's just, like, tossing women aside. He's beating the monster to death. A memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. A list of faculty. We have John Keith in criminal law. Andrew Robinson in civil law. 
International Law, Cindy Peterson, and Criminology is Franz Moore. Philosophy of Law is Lefty Lewis, which is a hell of a name. Legal History is Ray Twain. Comparative Jurisprudence is Huge McGuire. And Doctor is Stacy Lizzie. So one time I had to go to the hospital and I, the hospital was like on this big kind of sprawling campus. It wasn't like a single building. And I walked into like the wrong door and I entered like a condemned wing of the hospital and it was just instantly a Silent Hill level. Like there were, like all the furniture had plastic over it. There was a huge pile of just chairs in the middle of the room covered in dust. plastic sheeting hanging from the walls and stuff. It was very good. Hey, okay, Stacy Lizzie, that's the infirmary key. Well, the other fun thing about hospitals is they tend to be built piece by piece over a long period of time. And so you'll get these weird things where like there are design clashes or it's constructed in ways that don't make a ton of sense. And so they just seem very spooky. And on top of that, like people die there. <laughs> so unlocked the infirmary. Books about medical treatment. Found the parlor key in one of the drawers. Lined with medicines and such. It's completely dark out. I like the pixel art. I like the like the dithering on the walls here. Huh. Was there someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. It talks about events. Actually, can we get a... Can we get a monster? We've been up all night. The vending machines don't work. Nothing in the fridge. The trash can is overflowing. Lots of books. Box of tools. We got a screwdriver, a crowbar, and a hammer. If we see that crooked man, we'll be ready. Did I check over here? Parlor. Okay. Anthologies and albums line the shelves. What's this? I guess it's wire art or something. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, though. It was apparently made by Ray Twain, one of the lecturers. So, 10101111. Still can't get like a even a Red Bull. I'd take a rock star at this point. Contains cleaning tools. Some sort of diary. My Michelle's dissertation made it into an academic journal. I'm just, I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class he'd be a prodigy. I also realized he and I have the same birthday. I use my birthday as a security code, so I feel like maybe I should change it. Does it say whose this is? No. Okay. A security box that requires a passcode. 
Lots of books, a copy machine. Locked with a six digit pin, that's Andrew Robinson. Event information, John Keith. It's some sort of notebook. Times are changing. Our existing laws cannot serve us anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. So this guy's like an extremist, right? Like he's, he's like, society has become impure. Documents are strewn on the desk. The key to John Keith's room is among them. Wait, isn't that this room though? Or is there another John Keith's room? Why does this law school have math books? Boy, I'm terrible at math. Okay, so this is what we saw. So 10, 15, um, RC says save check. That's a good idea. So I know the the thing says 215, but I don't remember what the other symbol was. So let's go look at that wire art. One five fifteen, that might be right. It's one zero one zero one 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 one. So it's two five fifteen. All right. A key to the reference room. I think that's down there. Ow. Hey, who was that? Who would you be? What are you doing in this school, you shady punk? Shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name or I'm calling the police on you. I'm David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. <laughs> you sure? As if a robber would say they were one. I want Sissy back. This guy sucks. What do you want, a permit? Now you tell me who you are if you're going to ask me. <laughs> I'm D. I graduated from this school, so I came back to bring back some so I came to bring back some memories. D, that's your name? Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but it's a nickname, dummy. You think I'd tell some shady guy my real name? <sighs> what a little brat. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wandering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. He also talks like a Pokemon rival. <laughs> what the hell's his problem? He didn't even apologize. He pisses me off. Can we use the fruit knife on him? Do we still have that? I guess we could jab him with the screwdriver. Also, why is the guy concerned about burglars if the place is being demolished? <clears throat> they say that people who despise those who think similarly to them or who are in similar circumstances. But humans are curious in that they can hide in any outward appearance of goodwill or hatred. Though they are two-faced deep down, they can make that idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may in your heart have an affection for them. The improbable is not impossible.
The S-Blade has a half-blood charge. I never understood this philosophy stuff. Wouldn't you just dislike people that you don't like? Absolute Chad, David. A record of books checked in and out. Books on comparative jurisprudence. Announcements of new arrivals and the like. <laughs> George Wythe, a signatory of the Declaration of Independence, he is sometimes called the father of American law for teaching the first classes in jurisprudence. So 1626 is his birthday, and the guy said we need to go back before him. There's writing behind this. 1647? Is it a code for something? We don't, why? Why wouldn't he just make his his code be the guy's birth year? Why would he hide it? He, he would change the digit by one and then hide it behind the picture of the dude. There's a key to the lecture hallway inside. What? What? You again? But why is it here? Back in the hotel, I thought... Damn it, I'll think about it later. Gotta run. So obviously running is not something that we can do there, even though that's what David said. This was 2515. I wonder if I can just like go get the thing now. Oh, you can't try to enter it until you've found it somewhere. Gotta deal with Gary Oak again. Forty-seven. We go back up. Key to the lecture hallway. Cannot 
use the crowbar on him. I kind of think it would be pretty good if we could just beat him down with the crowbar. It doesn't seem like there's anything in here we could use. Unless we can, like, hit him with the book. lost the screwdriver, so we're not using that. We just smoke a cigarette while we wait. Can't run that way. Maybe the window? Oh, are we missing, like, a weapon that we didn't bring in here? That would be really annoying. <laughs> Cannot dump the trash can on him. Can't use the crowbar or the hammer on the door. Cannot light the room on fire. Oh, and I locked. The door. That would do it. Surely that'll keep it in. Whew. But this is so bizarre. I mean, back at the hotel, I and the hotel's hours away, isn't it? Could it really be following me? Why? How? This is driving me nuts. Or am I hallucinating this thing? Then again, it did attack Sissy, so it can't be my imagination. It exists. Monster, that is. D. If that monster's here, I have to warn D. Tell him he's got to get out of here. I am very sure that D is going to listen. We did get a key, right? No? I guess we only got the key for the room we were in. So we just have to find this nerd. Did we get the lecture hall key? I don't... Oh, yeah, we did. It's here. Okay. faculty and staff. I thank you for coming today. Today is for us the best day of our lives. Because today we hope we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. 
Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers, all of us will be graduating from this school, and we owe a great debt to it. Though even if they manage to graduate, some of us may need to put a little more time into their studies. But these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hope for their future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams, to our yet unsure futures, and may we have God's grace. D, how did you get into this lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Huh? You forget I'm a graduate here? I know all the secret ways, dummy. How old is D? Because the... The graduation speech said as you move on toward adulthood, but it also mentioned passing the bar exam, which you usually do in your 20s, so... Huh, well, what were you listening to? A tape? Yeah, for my graduation day. Man, has it really been three years? So he's like 26. <laughs> I was getting nostalgic for the place and even abandoned. It hasn't really changed. It's like it was when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. You graduated, but you're still studying? Hey, lay off it. Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Next up's going to be my sixth attempt. There were lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed it in one shot. Okay, so he's tried it six times now, so he's he's got to be like 27 or 28. Being a lawyer has been my dream since I was a kid. So I was happy when I got accepted here. Felt like I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough, and I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time. Any more, and I'll be way behind my classmates. Well, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? Uh, it's sort of hard to explain. There's kind of a, a monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. I thought you were just some weird old guy abandoned, uh, wandering an abandoned school, but damn, you really are nuts, huh? Seriously, a monster... So he's calling us old. We, we could not be more than like two years older than him. Even little girls don't believe that stuff. You're being a total doofus. Do you enjoy making fun of people? And I don't think I'm that much older than... Ahem. Don't try and debate with me, alright? I'm a talented soon-to-be lawyer. You're no match for me. Do what you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I will do that, thanks. Like I need a shady punk like you telling me what to do around my alma mater. Hey, Paul. I got in. What? Really? You got in? To flight school? That's crazy, David. I can't even do a handstand. You can really do it if you try, man. <laughs> Thanks, but it doesn't make me a pilot yet. Still have to pass the exam. Man, dude, you totally will be, and make sure to give me a ride. I'd love to fly above a city sometime. Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. It's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. <laughs> Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. Maybe D is like that, too. The old school newspaper is posted up. A big hand from Michael Statham. Today we must pay tribute to our friend, or Michel, for his latest achievement. His dissertation in regards to the current international law has made an appearance in Regal Collection. Majoring in global jurisprudence in Cindy Peterson's class, he continues to study hard in the hopes of becoming an international lawyer after graduation. Below is the full text of the interview between Michelle Statham. Okay, so this dude was like 20 when he was in school. But correct me if I'm wrong, isn't law school a place you go after you finish your bachelor's degree? 
It's like medical school, right? You, you do four years in, in uh, university and then you, you go to law school. Is it different in Japan, I wonder? I think it might be. The game is not set in Japan, but obviously the developer is Japanese, so he might have just... Aradia Anouk says Michelle is a Gemini, and uh, actually I need to check his birth date because that's a number we need to remember. Um, so 619 and he's 20 years old. I'm going to type that in chat. Um, for some reason, every horoscope I've ever seen is like absolutely brutal to Gemini's. Hi, Dusk. The rule matches these other pages, so he was here. Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed. But I didn't receive that blessing. What's the problem with me? Who refused to pick me and left me in the dust? I loathe those meaningless days. He had a leaflet for this school. It was in the desk. Felt like it was important. Was he trying to be a lawyer like Dee was? I guess this would imply that he didn't become one. Yeah, well, Scorpios get roasted like, oh, you're so emotional, you know, but Geminis are like, you're a duplicitous, two-faced liar. <laughs> Leo loves the spotlight. Gemini will steal from you. So I think now we just need to go get uh, Michelle's key. Apparently you can sit on the bar without a law degree in Japan, which is not the case in the US. Okay, that would make sense. Wait, where's Michelle's room? Down? Hola. Michelle, where's your office? Oh, was his stuff just in the faculty room? No. First time I've like really gotten lost. I lost the note with my security box password, so I couldn't get into the computer room, and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was waiting for writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somewhere? If I used my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget, but that's risky. Of course, you could just use a random number, but then you get my problem. Okay, so there will be a book in the reference room that has a code. Uh, 
Okay, Michelle and Sydney or Cindy have the same birthday. Actually, this game is Japanese, so it would be 1906. So I believe they Nope, oh, it is 0619. There we go. Got our key to the lecture rooms. So we need to check the reference room and the lecture rooms. Was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious youthfulness wouldn't let me. I wanted somebody to say it. I wanted to be woken up, to be told I'm a have not. Something you lacked, a have not. It's true, there are haves and have nots, people whose dreams can come true, and. God. Again, sometimes my head just starts hurting bad. I think you should get that checked out, David. Finally. <laughs> ah! Damn, monster. Why are you chasing me? I'm alive? The monster's gone. I thought it would kill me, but it left? Damn it. Uh, my neck hurts, and I feel so sluggish. I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should try to rest somewhere. So we're like kind of pale now. Seminar 921 in the auditorium, Crime Among the Impoverished and Its Prevention. Ivan Abelitsev's Criminal Behavior, A Psychological Approach will be referenced. Be sure to read it before coming. So that's... 0921 for the lecture. Uh, I think we should go to the infirmary to rest. I'll take a little nap. Pushing myself wouldn't be a good idea. Later, Mori. Mom? Are you crying again? Sorry. I can't do a thing. I can't even console you. A dream. Yeah, Mom always cried in the living room after I'd gone to bed at night. That was when I was a kid, though. Well, I'm feeling better now. All right, let's go. Okay, what keys do we have? I guess we can check out the other lecture rooms.
nothing here. So we do have a possible code. It would be 0619. Not quite sure what room that's in, but... Do we have any... How did that monster get out of here? Memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. Okay. bar one of these doors. Oh, the the reference room book. I don't think we ever found that. Where is that? Behavior, a psychological approach. That notice in the lecture room mentioned this. I don't understand a word of it. Hmm? There's a slip of paper in here. What's the number 9981 for? Whatever could it be for, David? I think that's over here. That's the monster room. So that's the key to the computer room. Must be down on the first floor. Is it in the lecture halls? Doesn't sound right. second floor and I just missed it. Unless it's in the basement.
fuck, can I crowbar this open? No. Okay. There we go. Trash can is full of crumpled paper. Printed by Andrew Robinson. 144246. Lots of computers. Uh oh. Ahem, friends, faculty, and staff, thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. The future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learned here will make us resolute. A round of applause for all my fellow graduates. Uh, what? The laptop? But it wasn't on. However, as valedictorian, there's something I can't help but lament. It's about David Hoover. Huh? He was highly skilled, kind to us all, and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed by none other than the man himself. Hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. Let me ask you all this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? I don't think so. He should be forever punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. Looks like David got cancelled. Stop it! Stop! You're the lowest of the low. Your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward. Die, 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 die. Stop! No, I'm not a coward. I just... I heard a scream. Was that you? Jeez, you made me freak. What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? Forget about it. Sorry to startle you. It's nothing. Hey, dude, you okay? You're super pale. I'm just kind of tired. I came a long way and I haven't slept. Leave me alone. I can't be bothered to talk. Have this. <laughs> he brought us a Powerade. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. Oh, is it a monster? They don't come in bottles here. What, seriously? I don't need this. I told you, leave me be. Drink it, jeez. You really look like you need food and drink, and I'm being nice, so at least accept it, will you? Alright, thanks. But what's all this coming from the guy who was calling me a shady punk? Mostly because you look like crap, dude. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'm heartless. At least I am trying to be a lawyer. Besides, maybe it's fate. Tell you what, I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. <laughs> That's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else around? Particularly a man about my age? Hmm? Nope. Nobody. He's who you're looking for? Yeah, though I don't really know how he looks. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Doubt anybody be around here, though. Oh, but can I ask you something, too? Professor Andrew, he always helped me out. His room's on the third floor, but it's got a number lock, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor might still have some lecture notes for me around or something, but yeah, tell me if you get it open, okay? Alright, got it. I'll wander around some more, then. You look like hell, so don't push yourself. Yeah, well, you be careful, too. If you see any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to defend myself anyhow. Smell ya. Hm. 
Maybe he's not as bad as I thought. So that heals us back to 100 HP. Yeah, smell you later is literally what Gary Oak says. done with finals. I'm glad everyone got their appropriate grades. Of course, there's that lone D. I teach him so much, but he doesn't even get the basics. He's lagging behind everyone else, and yet he's so intent on being a lawyer. That nickname, D, stands for dreamer. Apparently, it was given to him for having such an impossible dream. But if you ask me, it's for the grade he'll always get. Imagine if you found your, like, teacher's notebook and they were just roasting you like this. I hate how he fawns over me, too. I practically have to act nice to him, and he always comes here for lessons after school. I wish I'd never let him in my class. I just hope he gives on his dream soon and finds another path. This is about D? It's awful that he'd say this about a student, though maybe D really is that bad. If D saw this, it'd be a big shock for him. He said he respected his professor and always tried so hard. There, I tore the page out. Wouldn't want D coming in and finding this. The monster's still wandering around. Is he looking for me since he couldn't kill me before? I'm gonna have to persuade you to leave. It's way too dangerous here. I'll go look for him. Developer chose a law school for a level this big. It's kind of a kind of a non sequitur in the horror world. It's not like this game is about going to prison or anything. unlocked. I have a really bad feeling. The air feels kind of heavy. What even is this? D? Hey D, what's wrong? Get up. Ah, uh, my head. I feel like crap. Now that you mention it, it's a little hard to breathe. What's going on in here? It's gas. Huh? Floors leaking gas. You gotta get out. Got it. D, get up and lean on my shoulder. It's here. Grr, not gonna let us go. Crap, the gas is pouring in. I'll be poisoned if I'm not quick. <laughs> Got an iron pipe. A breaker. A box. It won't open.
There's a little window up there, but there's no way I could fit in there. Cardboard boxes. There's a crack in the wall. There's another room this way, right? If I tear down the wall, I can go in there. Could I widen this crack with the pipe? That seems almost impossible. No time for hesitation. I gotta get out or I'll die. No good, huh? Maybe it needs some more? Try the hammer. This should go to the second floor's reference room, but the doors won't open. Try the crowbar here? Can I pry it with the crowbar? I have to at least try. Huh. I would not be able to fireman carry a guy up a ladder in under a minute. to escape. Hey, D, are you okay? I'll get you to the infirmary. Hang in there. Are you sure you're okay? You don't want to go to a hospital? What if you got poisoned? <laughs> I'm fine. Head hurts like hell and I feel gross, but I'll get better. Thanks, man. I'd be screwed without you around. I owe you my life. There's a water storage in the basement, and once I heard about it leaking gas, I only just remember that now. It was after I graduated, so I don't know for sure, but I think there was a dispute over the property, so the school moved and this got abandoned. I see. But you really shouldn't have come if you knew it was dangerous. Shut up, I just sort of forgot, okay? So... <laughs> I'm, uh, my, my head canon is that there's, there's been a carbon monoxide leak in the building for quite some time, and that explains these low grades and poor decision making. <laughs> Man, to think all this had happened when I just came here to relax, should have stayed at home studying. It's good to get a breather, sure, just not in abandoned ruins, okay? That's really something, though. You're still studying three whole years after you graduated? I always wanted to be a lawyer, ever since I was a kid. No matter what, I will be a lawyer, so I just keep studying and I still do. And there's no change in my mind. I see. <laughs> but you're awesome yourself, climbing the elevator while carrying me. You're buffer than you look. Ah, well, I did go to flight school. Seriously, that's awesome. Really can't judge a book by its cover, eh? But anyway, won't you get out of here already? It's all kinds of dangerous here, and I'm not looking after you anymore. I know, I know. Well, it was nostalgic and refreshing while it lasted. I'll just rest here a little and go. You do that. I'll be going. Oh, hey, wait a sec. You dropped something. Here, you... Huh. What? This looks like Professor Andrew's writing. Why did you have this? Hey, wait, don't read that. Huh? Dreamer? The grade he'll always get? Hey, what's this about? How? Why did the professor... This is how he really felt? But you, you supported me. You said I'd be a lawyer someday. That's why you that's what you told me. Hey, D, calm down. D. <sighs> that guy. He's in no condition and that monster's bound to find him. I'll have to go after him. Do you hear that sound? This ambient effect is used in the opening track for Fear and Hunger. That's so funny. Hey, 
I guess we can go back to the basement now. The basement's probably full of gas, and I'm sure that monster's there. I don't think I should go. Yeah, it plays this during the the um like the title screen and also during ending A when you're down in the the bottom level. See, there you are. Thank goodness. I always knew, at least that I wasn't a genius or anything. But why didn't they just say it? I respected Professor Andrew because he always supported me. Sure, I'm kind of dumb. I've been teased constantly for it. I failed the damn test like five times. I'm a failure. But aren't I free to dream? I've always dreamt of being a lawyer. That's why I still study so hard. Why did it have to be like this? Was everything I did for nothing? I don't know what to do anymore. D. Hmm. Do we tell him to continue believing in himself, or do we tell him that, that failing is a part of, of life and you shouldn't... I think this would fit better with the earlier thing we said. That's life, isn't it? I mean, you weren't cut out for it. What? Oh no! <laughs> that was the wrong answer. Just looking at you kind of irritates me. Maybe it reminds me too much of myself. You need to wake up. Aren't there enough hopeless idealists in the world as it is? You shut the hell up. Yeah, I'm stupid, but I'll keep studying. Everyone's lacking in something or another. In your case, it was intelligence. You goddamn- you want a piece of me? In my case, it was my eyes. Huh? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a pilot. I studied hard and made it to flight school. But I was colorblind. Strange, isn't it? Just a few colors you can't see and suddenly you have no right to fly. That seems obvious to me now, but back then I couldn't accept it, so I... I faked my vision results to get into the school. I spent three years playing innocent, even managed to be an honors student. But I was found out, on the day of the pilot exam, no less. That day, I was reduced from an honor student to a filthy traitor. I dropped out, and now I'm just some nobody clerk. I don't mind if you still want to be a lawyer, but I just want to say something. Don't trap yourself by narrowing the road. Ain't it rough? Wasn't it your childhood dream? It certainly was hard, it still is, but... Looking at you, I realized... It's not much, but I make my own money. I got a girlfriend, I drink with my buddy on weekends, and I enjoy my life for what it is. I didn't want to recognize I'd been set back, but I can't deny where I am now, nor all the work I put in back then. Are you happy with what you have now? Yes, though I didn't quite notice it. My life is how I choose it to be, so I shouldn't regret it. How about you? I won't give up, because because it's always been my dream to be a lawyer. I see. So I'll... Just one more time, I'll try the bar exam. But if I fail, that's it. I made up my mind. I'll give up for good then, but it won't mean those three years were a waste. Right, David? Yeah, of course. Is there any point to staying here? Let's go, I'll take you home if you want. Yeah, thanks. Duh. David, what's up? What? Hey, David. D, get out of the school. I'll keep him away, got it? What the hell? No, let's go together, this guy's bad news. He's chased me who knows how many miles. 
It's me this monster's after. I'll take care of it. All right. You just won't die, will you? I'll finish you off this time. Nothing else, David. You're you're pretty good at murdering people. <laughs> David, you're so damn slow. Are you sure you're all right? Damn it! Hang on, David. I'll come save you. Ah! You startled me, dude. You okay? Did you finish that thing off? Yeah, somehow. But I don't think it's done for yet. I feel like it'll come back again. What do you mean again? Didn't I tell you? It followed me all the way from a distant hotel. I don't think this is over yet. Uh, I don't get it, dude, but are you going somewhere now? I'd like to, but I don't have a destination. The guy I'm looking for wasn't here, so I don't know where he could be. Huh. Hey, hold on. I actually found this earlier. Any help? Where did you find this? I found it in the basement. The paper looks pretty new, so I thought you dropped it. The place of regret and an address. Do you know what kind of place this is? No clue, but I think it's pretty far from here. It'd take about a day to drive. I think I'll check this out. So long. Hold on. You said you're looking for who exactly? Ain't it dangerous driving around this late? Why you want to meet him? To be honest, I'm not sure myself, though I have sort of an excuse. Huh? My point is that it doesn't matter why I want to meet him. It's just, right now it feels like I have to. I have to go. Well, all right. Take care of yourself. Is your house far? I'll take you there. Don't worry about it. I can handle myself fine. Okay. Be careful, then. Wait. If we want to meet again sometime, you want to um, have a drink or something? Of course. Looking forward to it. I'm gonna laugh so hard if D comes back and kisses him on the cheek. <laughs> we gotta get on that D route. <laughs> I thought that was my phone. I was like, oh. Hmm. Was that my phone? I was sound asleep. Is David a single man who drives a minivan? Is that what's going on here? It was Shirley. She called me again? What could she want this late? Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. He does drive a minivan! <laughs> <laughs> Just a normal, everyday, 26-year-old man living by himself with a minivan. A hospital, huh? Must be abandoned or else it's got terrible upkeep. What's with him in these creepy places? <laughs> Should I go in? Is the alert box working? It looks like we just got a, another, um, some scar- oh, there we go, yeah. We got a Evelyn Heterodyne is a new patron. Welcome. I know she- I assume she is not here, but... Okay. 
So I'm going to take five real fast. I have to um, hop over and grab another drink, see what's going on with some stuff around the house. I will be right back. It'll be five minutes. Amazon just dropped a... I ordered a new uh, external hard drive because I need a lot of space for video editing. And Amazon just left this thing like on my doorstep without ringing the doorbell. It's not even in like an anonymous package, just totally says what it is. Oh boy, it's a hospital. Got some wheelchairs. This is a, it looks like it was four stories. Yeah, we got four floors, folks. <clears throat> I know this game is supposed to be about four hours to complete. So I will probably just run through the whole thing here on stream. Oh, how big is the hard drive? I think it's 15 terabytes or something, 16. It's pretty big. There was a good deal on it for Prime Day, so. I wonder if there's anything inside. It's a simple box. Maybe I could get it open without a key. Oh, you left all your survival horror tools. Okay, so all that is on this level, I believe, is the elevator and the nurse's station. There might be something in here. Outpatient clinic, number lock, okay. David, this is a sneaking mission. There's gonna be something scary when I open this. There's dark red writing on the bed, likely blood. Do not mourn them, do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Them? Who's them? This game was made in like 2003. David's not hip to uh, they, them pronouns. Um, this trope, so th there's there's blood writing this elaborate message on the bed. If you've ever actually tried to write anything with, with blood, it's not like a good substance for that. I don't, I don't know why this comes up in, in horror so often. Cafeteria. Yeah, especially on a bed. Like the the fluid would just like wick out into the sheets. A magazine rack. The latest ones are ten years old. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin to his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Emily Dickinson? Uh, did we check all the doors on this floor? Oh no, kitties! A dead cat. The stomach has been cut open. The poor thing. I can't look. Why would you do this? Wait, there's something in there. James mode activated. Ah, oh, sorry. Got a bloody key. <clears throat> we are going to destroy whoever hurt the kitties.
found a scrap from a notebook. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always, only there was no one on the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. It's his notebook. No doubt he was here, but is he still here now? We can't get up to the roof. Well, we got a key, so we should be able to unlock something. I guess we just check all the doors again. Can't read the tag. An elevator trunk. It's locked. Walk Cycle sounds like a Megan Trainer song. I guess I don't listen to Megan Trainer, so I don't know the... I don't have that association. Can't check the dressers. real quick. Got the lockbox on the right wall, the middle, then each of the corners. Again, a totally inane puzzle that would actually require you to... Okay. So we got two keys. We got the cafeteria key and the elevator trunk key.
out of what? An automated external defibrillator has only a little bit of battery left. What are you doing here? Are your mom and dad not around? Did you come here alone? Uh, are you mute, perhaps? Well, we just heard him singing. Mama said not to talk to strangers. Ah, well then I'll introduce myself. I'm David. I'm 26 years old. I live kind of far from here. My hobby is watching baseball, I guess. Oh, I like baseball, too. Mama gave me a glove, so I play every Saturday. Whoa, I'm jealous. So what's your name, little guy? Fluffy. Fluffy? That's your name? Yeah, Mama says my hair is fluffy like a towel, so fluffy. I see. Where's your mama, Fluffy? I don't know. You don't know? Did you not come here with her? Um, well, we were going back home, and as I was walking right by Mama, she said she went to get something she forgot. I didn't want to wait outside, so I came in here to sing, but Mama hasn't come back. So you got lost. Is your house close to here? Um, my house is close to school, but you can't see school from here, so I guess it's probably far. Right. You're really something to have waited here all alone. Great. A kid lost late at night. I think there's a sheriff's office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Hey, Fluffy. It's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to Mr. Policeman? Okay, let's go. No! What's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman show you a patrol car. Don't you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the scaredy cat, aren't you? Fluffy... Better give chase, I guess. Then again, maybe his mom will find him. I don't want to be questioned by the sheriff anyway. I'll take him to the sheriff if I see him again. If I found a kid in an abandoned hospital full of cut-up animals, I don't think I would just be like, uh... Uh... Well, I don't think the kid killed the cats. He's, he's like really little. Empty cans. Dirty dishes, stained white cups. Something knocked over this can. Got a small wire. Okay, we can open the locker with this, I'm sure. Got a note about a number lock. 4489. Is the lock battery operated? It's not working, so the batteries must be dead. Well, the place is abandoned. We'll just swap out the battery from our defibrillator. Put the 
battery in the lock. I was kind of hoping David would defibrillate the lock, but alas. Key to the counseling room. A hammer. Looks heavy. I don't want to be lugging this around. Maybe if I find somewhere to use it, though. I received a puzzle box the other day. Rather interesting thing to open it. You have to arrange letter pieces to form a word. Of course, I made the keyword from my favorite word. That irreplaceable thing which always makes me happy just to say. In fact, I should show the box to my daughter. Unbelievable. When I showed my daughter the puzzle box, she hid all the pieces. But what's inside isn't really something you use every day, so it's not a huge deal. She actually gave me hints on where they are, but I can't find any. Maybe when I have time. Flowers are nice, wash your hands, where do you have lunch? Give me a call, the nurses know, and get close to the sky. Oh, there's something in the vase, a piece. <laughs> we have such sights to show you. You opened the box, you summoned us. There you are, Fluffy. Do you know what? Don't you know not to wander off alone? I can handle the dark fine. I told you I'm a big boy. I'm not gonna cry like some baby. Wow. You sure do seem brave, Fluffy. I have to admire that. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're as brave as Captain America. I'm kind of scared of walking in the dark, but here I am looking for someone. If only there was someone here I could depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Whoa, really? Wow, what a relief. Thanks. I feel much safer with you here, Fluffy. I'll protect you, Mr. David. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, Sheriff's Office it is. It's the thingy the doctor uses. I want one. Can I have it? Um, it's kind of dirty. You probably shouldn't. What is this stuff? I don't really know either. I like his walk cycle. That's very good. I'm I'm quite certain he said Ultraman in Japanese. Every time we examine something, Fluffy just gets a new, a new item. I'm really thirsty. Can I have a drink? No way. This water's no good. Oh, hi, Mr. Bug. Yuck, there really are bugs. This place is gross. Stinky! Yeah, it reeks. Uh-oh. Stinky. Got an F piece? Oh, 
My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness. But for me, it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self back when I was pure, when I still thought everyone loved me. One moment, please. All right, sorry about that. Did we check these? We didn't, okay. They've been pretty good about not just like spamming identical useless rooms. Uh, I wonder why they changed that here. should be a puzzle piece in here. Okay, so we did the first two and the one about the nurses. We did the call, so we need to go to the cafeteria and then get close to the sky. Close to the sky, I guess, would be on the top floor. Some kind of dried fluid. It might be vomit. Icky! Yeah, Icky is right. Made it to the counseling room. I just saw a shadow. Was that my imagination? What's up, Mr. David? That's nothing. The loan diary here. Tape 15, subject visitor A, 12-3, p.m. Guarantor for relative in room 409. Contents. A visited after sudden change in his patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon identified brain illness. Surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient still thinks herself healthy, which causes A a great deal of distress. Her memories of A are also vague. A sought counseling on how to cope. The patient misunderstands it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable. Counseling will likely continue for both. 
Tape 16. A visited after the patient's death. He lamented that given that she was going to die, he, wouldn't, he couldn't watch over her at home. He stated that living in itself is not happy, so if life is agony, then wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor or tolerate it as a person of dignity? I wish he would come back here, but unfortunately I can't force him. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. What's that, a storybook? No, it's not. There's a key in the diary. Got the psychiatry key. I don't remember where the psychiatry office would be. I could screenshot this. In fact, I will do that. Okay. So I think the psychiatry room is going to be over here then. Staff, director. Cabinet is locked, but there's something in it. Surgical, ENT. Those are just exam rooms. Model of an embryo. A baby? <laughs> it looks like a monkey. Well, babies are kind of like that. We got a small key. Bathroom sink. Somehow the faucets work. Hey, there's something over there. Huh? You're right. Something stuck in the drain. Mr. David, I gotta go pee. Huh? Okay, I guess this is the girls' room, so you should technically go to the boys' one. Not sure if it'll flush, though. Okay, I'll wait here. You can go by yourself, right? Yeah, I'll be good. Hey, Fluffy, you okay in there? I'm peeing! Hold on! Huh? 
Huh? What is it, Fluffy? Come out already. I can't open the door. What? It really won't open. Did the door just break or what? Mr. David, I can't get out. Am I going to be stuck here forever? Uh, it's okay, Fluffy. I'll get you out right away. Just give me a sec. Oops. There was a hammer in one of these rooms. Is, is this not the time to use it, David? Do we have anything that could get the door open? The wall is slightly damaged. There are fragments of concrete on the ground. Hey, maybe if I break this wall some more, do I have anything I can use? Surely breaking the door would be easier than breaking a, even a damaged concrete wall. Luffy? Fluffy, get away from the wall. I'm going to break through. Hey, what's wrong? What happened? No, don't come near me. I'm scared. Fluffy, it's okay. It's me, David. Mr. David? Wah! Fluffy, are you okay? Are you hurt? Seriously, what happened? I was waiting for you, Mr. David, and then I turned around and there was a guy there, and he tried to get me. A man? Fluffy, what was he like? His neck was all limp, and he was grinning. He looked at me and said, found you. I was so scared I hid in here. A man with a crooked neck? It's him. So he followed me here, too. Damn it, why Fluffy and not me? I was scared. I was so scared. It's okay now, Fluffy. You did good for yourself. I'm proud of you. If he's here, then I can't let Fluffy stay here. I'll have to take him to the police. Fluffy, shouldn't we go to Mr. Policeman? It's dark and dangerous around here. I'll take you there. It'll be okay. No, I'm staying with Mr. David. I'm waiting for Mama. Fluffy, please don't be selfish. I'm sure your Mama went to the police too, so... No, Mama said to wait here, so I know she's going to come find me. And then I'll wait for her, because I'm tough. Fluffy... If I can't find him here soon, and if Fluffy's mom doesn't show, then I'll have to ask. Then I'll have to take him to the sheriff. Fluffy sure won't like that, though. Boy, this is getting troublesome. I just hope she shows up soon. All right, Fluffy, we'll wait together a little longer, okay? Your mom will come soon. I know it. So hey, don't cry. You're a big boy, right? Fluffy, why did your mom take you to an abandoned hospital? Don't tell Mama that I cry. Mommy hates when I cry. She gets mad. I won't tell a soul. That's a promise between men. Now let's go. Okay. There's a big hole in the wall. Uh-oh. 
There's a memo on the bulletin board. Bed trash board. So I think these are the three floors in this wing. What's this? Was somebody doodling? What's this depicting and what are these numbers for? John Smith is dead. It appears he hung himself. I was no help at all, it seems. All I got in the end was a suicide note. There's a letter placed in the diary. It appears to be the patient's suicide note. It's chasing me. No matter where I go, I can't ever escape. So I've decided to die. But I realized it's grinning. In fact, it's grinning behind me right now. It's been waiting for me to do this. This is what it was chasing me for, but now I'll be free from it. Doctor, please take care. It might start to follow you next. There's no point in running because it's always at someone's back. Goodbye. Thank you for everything, Doctor. You were the only one who showed sympathy. So we're still missing the M key, which says close to the sky. I think there was something in the bed here, it said. Click, beep, beep. Don't touch that thing, please. Maybe this small key will work? Try it. Got the key to the chemical closet. Oh boy. Just me and my adopted son stealing chemicals from an abandoned hospital. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He brought a cook. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. There was a crooked man, huh? Yep, Mama taught it to me. I like to sing, so I sing lots, and I like that song. I don't actually know how the song goes. <laughs> Dropping a Book of the New Sun reference in the stream chat. I see. What is it, mister? I actually learned it as a kid, too, but I didn't like it very much. Why not? It just felt like a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life, and then all he's got around him is crooked stuff. I was scared to think, what if I was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I don't get it, mister, but sorry for singing a sad song. Nah, no, it reminded me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. Do you, do you sing with your mama? Yeah, Mama likes to sing, too. It's fun to sing with her. Do you sing, David? Nah, I'm no good. You're better off not hearing me try. Fluffy, we gotta cook. The newbie Steve made a fine mess. He spilled some hydrogen bromide and made a hole in the wall. I told him that stuff could eat through iron. He'd better pay me back for this. 
All right, so what you're telling me is that we need hydrogen bromide real bad. Hey, Fluffy, you want to see a dead body? <laughs> to all mothers carrying babies, please stop abandoning children in front of the hospital. Six precious lives have been lost this month alone. Poor babies. That feels like a high number of babies to be left in front of like a out of the way hospital like this. <laughs> Due to maternal incompetence, six precious lives have been lost. There is nothing in these. Oh, wait a second. Okay, no, maybe this is why we have these identical rooms. I don't know why a helicopter just like completely buzzed my house, but if you heard that on the mic, uh, that's what that noise was. There's writing on the floor. Seven? Seven is written on the floor under the bed. Okay, so on each floor, one of these rooms is going to have something. The noises outside are getting increasingly bizarre. I think somebody's cutting metal or something. It's cluttered with rubber and paper gloves. Nothing too interesting. x-rays put up on the whiteboard. A door locked with a three-digit code. Seems it leads to the emergency stairs. Okay. I was distracted by that horrible noise outside, so I looked away from the screen when it told me what the number in the trash was. There's something on the bottom. One. And then I think up on the top floor. We have something on one of the boards. There's a number on the board, six. 
So this is the fourth floor. 176 or 671, I guess. This could be in any order. There we go. There's a huge pile of sandbags, so you can't go down. It's locked, so you can't go out. Thick wire holds the door handles tight. Not even pliers could cut this. Not that I have those. Hmm, what can I do about this? So we're missing the M, because obviously this is going to say family. That'll lead to the roof, though. So I think that's where we're going to get our... Oh, we need that chemical. Right, so that'll be down in the basement. Save early, save often. Hydrogen bromide. It can melt iron, huh? Maybe it'd work for that door to the rooftop. Let's go find some hydrogen. Hey, tripped and all. Mom took this stuff. What did they say it was for again? combination granules, part, <laughs> part salicylamide, part acetaminophen? Nope, no clue. Are these even words? No hydrogen bromide on these shelves. Zinc, ethanol, oxidol, mercury, even I know these names. Oh, here we go. Hydrogen bromide. Have to be careful with this. We found the Heidi. Was it... Oh, it's on the third floor, that's right. Oh, I have to actually use it? Fluffy, stand back. This could be dangerous. Okay. Hey, it's working. This is kind of fun. Reminds me of a science experiment. Whoosh. The wire melted and the door can now be opened. Yay, we're outside. Hey, Fluffy, don't run around. You'll fall. I can't see Mama from here. She must still be looking for that thing she lost. I hope she comes to find me soon. She'll be here soon, I'm sure. You sure love your mama, huh, Fluffy? Yeah, mama's the best. Don't you like your mama, Mr. David? Yeah, I've got to love my mama. I mean, my mother. Family is important. My mama's nice, but she's scary when she's mad. Is your mama nice? I'm home. 
Are you feeling better, Mom? Did you go to the hospital? Welcome home, Davy. It's just a cold. Don't blow it out of proportion. I'll feel a lot better after getting some rest. There's really no good side to being feeble. I'm sorry to always be causing you trouble. Don't worry about it. We're just a family of two. Of course we gotta help each other. <laughs> oh, you're so kind. Say, how's it going with Shirley? She hasn't come by here lately. We haven't met much because of the work, though I'd like to talk with her more about the future and all that. She must be anxious. It's a big event in a woman's life. Make sure to support her, will you? Are you sure you're not in pain, Mom? You don't look very well. Get some sleep. I can make my own meals. I'm glad to have such a kind son. Thank you, Davy. Yes, she's very kind. She always cared about me. <laughs> you better get home soon then, Mr. David. Your mama must be really worried. I suppose you're right. Same reason why yours will show up soon. So just wait with me until then. Yeah. There's a ladder. Seems you can climb up. Why would we bring Fluffy up here? Okay, so now we can get back down and go back to the director's office. Uh-oh. What are you eating? Drop it right now. What is he doing? Is it, is it eating the embryo model? <sighs> Mr. David! No, stay away! <sighs> Fluffy, ah, I gotta chase that monster. Oh, my head. I'm bleeding, I'm so dizzy. I mean, at this point, David should probably know how to handle the monster, like... He's just gonna walk up and give him a beatdown. Uh, I guess we gotta just check everywhere. Surely he'll be in one of these rooms. Yeah, they might be on the roof. That would be on the, like, fully opposite side of the building, though. But I'll check there.
I'm guessing they're not in the nurse's station. Nope. He's definitely dead by now, right? Seems Fluffy isn't on the roof. back into the bathroom. No. Unless... It would have been so funny if when I opened the, the stall the monster was in there. Oh, here they are. Fluffy! No, I don't want to. Stay away. I have to do something about that thing. Oh. Just walk right up and instantly get murdered. That works. So he was over on... Oh, wait, was he just on the fourth floor up here? have any items. Maybe I can just... Oh. I was trying to get him to, like, pay attention to me so that I could run away and, and lure him. Maybe I have to like run back and grab something. from Fluffy. <laughs> Mr. David. Fluffy, you're not hurt? No, I'm fine. I'm sorry, Mr. David. It was my fault that you got hurt, Mr. David. It's okay. Not your fault. Didn't do anything. Mr. David. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. 
Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner... Mr. David! Did I pass out? God, my head still hurts. Stupid monster. Mr. David, are you really okay? Yeah, Fluffy, I'm fine. You're not hurt? No. I'll be fine too. Sorry for worrying you. Looks like the monster went away. Fluffy? I want my mama. I don't like monsters. I don't like the dark. Fluffy. Should we go to the police? I'm sure your mother's there, so... I told Mama I'd wait. Mama said she was proud of me, so I'll wait for her. Mama wouldn't lie. She's gonna come for me, so I have to wait here. He really should be with the sheriff, but he just won't listen. And if I try to force him, he'll just run. David, you're strong enough to have carried D up a ladder while choking on, on poison gas. I think you could just, like, fireman carry this kid across the street. Or just knock him out with the fire extinguisher. <laughs> I do wonder what his mom's doing, though, leaving her son behind like this. I can't believe some people. And what's that monster up to? He was chasing me before, but now he's just after Fluffy. I don't think I can possibly know. I just need to protect him from being attacked. Maybe I should find a weapon somewhere. You're a good kid, Fluffy. Putting up with all this, you're really great. I bet your mama's really glad. Hold out a little more, okay? I'll stay with you. No more monsters? I can't say, but I'll protect you if there are. So don't wander away from me, okay? Okay, I'll stay with you, mister. If I saw a guy take out a monster with a fire extinguisher when I was a kid, I would have thought that was like the coolest guy in the universe. Okay, we're done with all that stuff. I guess we just have to go back to the director's office now. Which I believe is in the other building. Oh no, it's here. Family. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll take it. What, what do we got? What are we packing? Small revolver holds five bullets. Okay. Mr. David. This monster's persistent. Fluffy, over here. No, I'm scared of monsters. I don't wanna. Fluffy, get over here. Don't let that monster come near you. Ah, Fluffy! I gotta go after Fluffy. Yeah, seriously, did he have to run away again? Couldn't we have just had the gunfight? Maybe he's on the roof now? Fluffy! No, no, no! Stay away! Mr. David, help! 
Over here, Fluffy. Don't let it get near. Ah, run away. Mr. David, help. Damn, it really is after Fluffy. Why? Listen, don't let it catch you. Run away. I'll take care of it. Okay. Okay, now can we do this without shooting the kid? Boy, that's a loud scream. This is the end. Don't come near Fluffy again, monster. Just punted him off the roof. I don't know how many times I shot it, but not even it could survive that. Fluffy, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Fluffy, what's wrong? Were you hurt? <laughs> Why? Huh? It's so scary, but I keep, keep hanging in there and I just want to go home. So why won't Mama come? Does Mama hate me? Fluffy. Mama hates me, so she'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. Fluffy, that's not true. It's not... It, that's not... I'm going to Mr. Policeman. I see. Okay, I'll go with you. I'm fine. I can go there by myself. Fluffy, you shouldn't be alone late at night. I'm a tough kid. I can make it on my own, even if Mama isn't there. Even if Mama isn't there, I won't cry. Wait. Ah, my head feels like it's going to explode. Fluffy? He left? On his own? No, Fluffy, your mother didn't hate you. It was you who lost faith in her. What have I been doing here? Wandering these ruins, looking for a man I don't know? I should go home. There's no point to this. Nothing... nothing will change. I guess we're just ditching the kid. What the? Sounds like a woman's voice. Could it be Fluffy's mother? So she did come from. That's good. I'll bet she and Fluffy passed each other by. Her voice is coming from the clinic side. I'll go check it out. Why do I feel like she'll be down here? that over there? Hey, who are you? Mom? Davy, why do you abandon me? That's not... Mom, how can you be here? I hate hospitals. You're my family, yet you abandoned me? No, you were sick, Mom. So so you left me? My own family couldn't stand me anymore? No! No, you're wrong. Who are you? My mom couldn't possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? It hurts, Davy. Just like it did then. 
Are you going to try and kill me again? It hurts so much, Davy. Who are you? Why are you in my house? What did you do with my husband? Answer me. Mom, please stop. You keep saying things like that. Dad left a long time ago, okay? Did you forget? Shut up, intruder! I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the police on you. Stop it. Don't tell me you're already going senile. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm a bother. Shut up! Keep your mouth shut! Do you think I know you? Get out of here! Stop! What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did something wrong. Are you teasing me? Because it's not funny. Please, Mom. Quiet. I'm not your mother. I don't know you. Get out. Enough. M murderer! Somebody! Murderer! David? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop! You tr let go! You're trying to kill her? David! It appears to be a brain tumor. It's putting significant pressure on her brain. Sudden changes in behavior, violent action, and memory loss can be signs of brain disease. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in a family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we'd noticed a little sooner... Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We have to postpone the operation for now. We've hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decision. Hopefully it won't be long. Please, come by to see her often, even if she doesn't seem to know you. She is family. No. We're not family anymore. Don't... don't say we are. If I hadn't been stopped, just like that, I would have... I would never have been forgiven for it. There really was hatred for me. And it's true I've abandoned her in the hospital. She was my only family, my precious mother who cared for me after my father left, and yet I... My wishes never came true. My dreams, love, and even family all go away. I can't have anything that's not crooked. What... what have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore, it's obvious now. There was only one way from the very beginning. Damn it. David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul, what do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him, scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help, now did it? It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for you to pick that place. Huh? Damn it. I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room be... Don't tell me ghost stories at times like this. Always talking about how you see things and... David! David, where are you? The abandoned hospital in Stafford. Why are you way over there? Listen, I'll find you, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please don't. 
Leave me alone. David? Hey, David! God, he's in Stafford. It'll probably take about a day to get there on my motorcycle. Marion, I'm gonna go get David. I'm going with you too. David is my friend too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. David's the cool friend. David's ridiculous car. He's got to still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. Let's investigate the yam. So wait, is this a minivan or is this like one of those like Subaru things that's kind of halfway between a minivan and a sedan? I think that's what it is. It's like one of those like modern day station wagon type things. Yeah, it is a hatchback for sure. It's like a, like a Subaru Outback or whatever. The lesbian car. Well, it's pretty funny if a if a 26-year-old single man is driving a lesbian car. I would <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just inadvertently roasting Samuel over here. <laughs> Um, I'm going to get another drink. I'll be right back. Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. Is that you, David? Who's there? What are you doing there? A girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, who the heck are you? What is this about? Go see him. And what the hell was that? <laughs> Does he have anything to say about the kitties? Oh no, that's awful. You don't think David... Oh, come on. Why would he do something like that? Must have been some crazy dude. Actually, that does raise a question. Did David do that? Or did, um... Are the ghosts somewhat real? I guess Fluffy saw the ghosts. Someone else. David? Hey, who are you? Yo. The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you.
uh, why are there so many people here? I don't get it. <laughs> why are they just like leaving and not being like, let's let's go help our friend? There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. A kid? Don't tell me a kid's wandering here. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. Kid, what are you doing? And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Hey, are you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness must my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time, and he sighed. And so he... Mr. David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey. Why was that kid... Why did he know David? Did he meet him? <laughs> Forget it. Let's go, Marion. Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Marion, what do you mean teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David. No jokes. Oh, so that's it. Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for um trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened to you, I'd be putting two family members in danger. Please, just trust me. Alright. Please come back quickly. Right. Just wait for me, David. Paul and David better go and be at Ghostbusters after this. I'll save here. David, what are you doing out there? David. Paul, why are you here? I came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later, for now you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave. Stay away. This really is Disco Elysium. David, you... I'm... I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm... I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. David? What? What is that? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now... David! I know you've had it really rough. I'm your best bud, after all. I'm always trying to help you out. And it might be hard now, but tides can change. Good things can still happen. No, I know they will. Whatever happens, I'll help you, so shut up. Who do you think you are? You want to help me? You want to say good things will happen? They never have. All my hoping came to nothing, so I... David, stop. Don't say that. Who are you? Huh? I don't know you. And you couldn't know me. The only one who understood me was him. David, you're... The only time you'll ever understand is in your last moments. Out of my sight, hypocrite. David!
David. Why do you have a gun anyway? Give me that. Stop! Let go. Just leave me be. Right, I can't do that, David. You're my Stop! Huh? Whoa. Paul! Did I did I just shoot you? I didn't. It can't be. I, I really killed... Oh, David. Not your fault. I tried to grab the gun. But it was all me. It's not your fault. David. Oh, David, you're not a bad guy. I'm sorry, Paul. That somehow went worse. Woof. Alright. I suspect there's another bad end to get if we just try to leave. properly. <clears throat> David just can't stand living in a in a puzzle game. This is the thing to do. Ah! Ow! You damn monster! Get away from David! Ah, st Ow! Stop! Ow! That hurts! Stop, you moron! David, you back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been saying from the start. Like hell, if that's the kind of thing you do saying, I'd have to beat you up till you promise not to. Now, about this stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that's happened. Hmm. Sissy, D and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fanaticism. Don't I always tell you that I see things? You and Marion never believe me. Sheesh. 
Anyway, about Sissy D and the kiddo, I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousnesses, they sort of stick around in places. More of your occult shtick? You seriously making fun of the occult after this? Just listen, and no jokes. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble? When I first looked at the place, it was fine, but once you moved in, I had this strange feeling, from you and from the room. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness was a perfect match with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy, too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep, and you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always sympathize with others, and they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know the guy? You know a little from the stuff he left, and that was all stuff you could identify with. So what would you think of the guy who was a spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both, same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you, tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you, who wanted your help? What? He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. That's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He, he helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm? What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address, and I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever, so I'm going. David! You come back to us safe. I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah, I know. Thanks. This place, for sure. Could this be his house? Excuse me, could I have a second? What? Ain't seen you around here. Going for a stroll? Uh, no, actually. Uh, who lives here? Do you know them? Oh, you mean Mrs. Uh, McGahan? McGahan? Somebody called McGahan lives here? Not anymore. Miss McGahan passed away last year. The house has been neglected ever since. Waste of a fine house, it is. Oh yeah, I think she had a son. We should just rent out or sell the house. Do you know anything about her son? Nah, never seen him. I only moved here a few years back. Heard he lives in an apartment a ways away. I see. That all? I gotta get home by daybreak or my wife will be livid. It's good to walk, take a walk in the morning, but it's sure cold. Don't catch a cold or nothing. Uh, yes. Thank you. You too. The mailbox says McGahan. Must have been the resident's name. It's 
So that was the cat key. Bath water is muddy. It smells bizarre. An old telephone. It's a big gash on the wall. I recalled the rhyme of the crooked man. All he could do was live in a crooked house with a cat and a mouse just as crooked. I was the same way. Everything I wished for end up cro ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? Was he sorrowful in the depths of despair? Such a life has no meaning. The hotel, the school, the hospital. It was the same at all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. Writing wouldn't calm down my heart. In the end, my festering heart just oozes more, and I tear up the paper. Mine is an empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind, not even words. Why? 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 No, 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 no. Out of cigarettes. I need a smoke. Toppled trash can. There's a few pieces of trash inside. A door leading to the attic, but it won't open. A black covered notebook. Combined all the scraps into the notebook. There's a name on this. Duke. Duke McGahan. Paintings fall onto the floor and must have hung on the wall before. <laughs> Crooked man. I... I can't go over to your side. He's up there, isn't he? I'll be going there. This'll be the end. I think it might just be the default, like, RPG Maker gunshot sound. I'm not gonna be like you. You won't catch me. As much misery as I encounter, as painful and bloody as it might be, I'll keep living. So... Be gone.
There's a door to the attic. You might be able to pry it open. Duke. You... You detested me, though I lived such a similar similar life. You hated how I lived comfortably. So you wanted to drag me down, to take me with you. But didn't you want to be saved deep down? So you called me? No, that's not right. You were trying to help me, to tell me don't come down the way I've come. Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore. Where you're going, it's a good place, so... Now you can rest in peace. Wow. Sounds like a real ordeal, David. I mean, finding a corpse while you're on a trip? But it sounds like it ended up all right. I'll go get you some tea. He was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragged to the other side. The crooked man was always right behind me. I realized he was there. Every time I was sad, it felt like he was whispering to me. I knew if I acknowledged it, I was done for, so I tried not to think about it. If all this hadn't happened, I think sooner or later I'd take his same path. Thinking of it that way, he really did save me. Always such an easy target, aren't you? That's why you got dragged into this. It's fine. The crooked man is gone. Hello? Huh? Okay, I'll head right there. David, what's up? Who was it? The hospital. Mom's condition took a turn. They're preparing to do the operation. Take my bike. It'll be faster. You gotta go. Don't sit there staring. Doctor! Mom, Mom's condition... To be honest, this is rather risky. Removing the tumor isn't too difficult, but she might not have the strength to... Doctor, please, my mom. She's the only family I have. Please. Sign this. We're getting ready now. We'll do the best job we can. Okay. Doctor! Mom? The tumor was successfully removed. She's still sleeping now. We might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight will be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. David? Mom! Mom, oh thank god, you woke up. You really... I felt like I was in darkness. I was scared, screaming. I must have worried you. And those things I did to you. I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? It's okay. It's okay. You helped me open my eyes. Mom, I was so unhappy. I was always just struggling to be happy. But I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed, and after all the hardship I'd given her, I foolishly doubted, thought I wasn't loved, wasn't needed. That's why I... Do you hate me for it? Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say we were always happy. But even in sad times, you were always honest. You lived a straight and honest life. 
I was so proud of you. Having you as a son was my greatest happiness. Don't focus on the sad things, and I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness hiding around you. Davy, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? Sure, just a second. Here you go, Mom. Mom? Mom. She got a good funeral. I'm sure your mother's happy now. You gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? She told me she was happy in the end. If I'm gonna live without blaming myself, those words are gonna help a lot. It's fine if I have to suffer, if I can be smiling in the end. David. Marion? Why are you... Shirley? Why are you... Hey, Shirley, I still ain't forgiven you. How dare you give David the cold shul... Ow! Ahem. We're going. Stop pinching me. David, I heard about your mother. So you brought flowers, Shirley? Mom always liked you, so I bet she'd be glad. Thanks. David, I was uneasy. I got unsure of where I was going, worried that the road I was walking would be full of twists and turns. So I took it out on you and your kindness. You never let me down, but how did I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. I'm sorry, maybe this is too late, but... David, if it's okay with you, would you like to... David, I'm sorry, please don't cry. No, I'm not sad, I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed and I lost my only family, I'm just so happy you came back. It's okay, Shirley. However off-kilter things get, we can set them straight, if that's what we want. David. You know what I think? The crooked man had a crooked body and only crooked things. But I'm sure he was happy living in his crooked house. to see you again. Until then, rest in peace. And that is The Crooked Man. This is the first in a series of four games by um, Yuri, which is a uh, Japanese indie developer. You can find out more about it on vgperson.com. He's a, um, or they are a indie game translator. Uh, I believe all four of these games are free. You can choose to pay for this one on Steam if you like to support the, um, the developer. I thought that was pretty good. It wasn't, um... It wasn't too predictable. And, uh... For the most part, except kind of later in the hospital, it had pretty good pacing. The, uh... The, 
we didn't have a lot of time where we were just kind of wandering around not knowing what to do. Thank you for playing the Crooked Man and congrats on the good ending. This is a bonus area. You'll lose access to it if you quit, so I recommend making a save. You can also begin a second playthrough here. This ends The Crooked Man, but the series continues with The Sandman, The Boogeyman, and The Hanged Man, out as of 2017. Please try them if you like. Alright, and I'll see you all next week.